Well, good evening and welcome back to Beth's Tennessee Kitchen. We're going to do a real quick um, show of how to put and prepare your ham. Now, when um, we are going to get it all prepared, put it in the oven, we'll come back in a couple hours and we'll wrap it up. How's that sound? All right, well, I just washed my hands and you know that's the first thing you do, wash your hands. All right, so we're going to cut the ham because it's too big for us to eat all at once. And even really too big to cook and you know put in the freezer and all that stuff. So I'm gonna put half of it in the freezer and cook half of it. All right, so we'll get started. Now this is just one that I prefer to, ah, I made a mess already. I was hoping that would catch it. And so you want to cut this in half. I just like the Black Forest hams or the 1877s. I do like those too. Okay, so we're going to use half of this ham tonight and half of it will go into the freezer. And we'll do that here in a few minutes. Okay, let's wipe that up real quick. Made a mess. All right, with my pan right here, we're going to put this right here and we're going to just pull that off. We'll throw that in the sink and set this off to the side for a few minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll take care of it. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to use a little of the uh, of cloves, ground and whole. Some people don't like to use the whole cloves, but I still like to use a few of them just because, I don't know, the flavor of it or, or what, it really just kind of makes it taste a little better to me. Okay, you don't need many. See? That should do you. And then you just stick it in your ham. Anywhere there's no particular place to go. You just want it, they just stick right in there. Oh, that one didn't stick too well, did it? There we go. Just in a little ways around, just to kind of get the flavor. Doesn't this look so good? It looks like it's good enough to eat right now, but it, you just need to kind of do some yummy stuff to it. Okay, so we're gonna flip it over just a little bit. And this is just going to be very tasty. And we're going to make a glaze. I prefer to make my own. And some people prefer just to cook it in water. That's not me. So, I'm going to show you how I do it. <laughs> All right. Now, we've got a little bit of cloves. The, the ground cloves, okay? So, these are the whole cloves and this will be the ground, okay? So really, I don't use a lot. Now remember, I do not use a lot, not a lot. You just want a little bit, okay? And that's a little bit of do ya with that. Okay, so there we go with that. Now, we're going to, this is how I do my sauce. I put some pineapple, crushed pineapple. You can use the whole pan if you want, which we will tonight. And then there's crushed pineapple, okay? Now we're going to use some, oh, a cup or so of brown sugar. And we're going to put that in here. Okay, I'm just making a mess tonight, aren't I? That's okay, I'll clean it. All right. I sure appreciate y'all tuning in. It's just so fun. And um, and we are going to just do this. And then we've already showed you how to do some sides. And pretty soon I'm going to show you how to make some dessert. So here we go. Okay, see how that's all? All just kind of mixed in together. And if you taste it, it's just really sweet to taste. Okay, so now we're going to put this glaze and we're going to pour it right over, right over the top. Very simple. Isn't it simple? 
I love simple. Okay, quick and easy. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're going to take about a cup of water, slosh it around in the bowl to get all the yummies, okay? You want all the good stuff to go in there. And you're gonna put the water, because you don't want your ham to be dry, okay? Now, if you choose to, this is, this is gonna take about hmm, two hours or less. And we'll let you know exactly how long that is when I get done today. So, we're going to turn this over on the bottom like that, okay? So all the juices will uh, get into the open end. Now, if it was a whole ham, I would just leave it off to the side. I would just, you wouldn't flip it that way. You'd leave it like this, and you'd stick the whole thing in your, in your pan. But since we cut it, we're going to put the open end down in the bottom of all the juices, and it just soaks it all in, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Okay, let me wash my hands real quick, rinse them off. Okay, so now we're going to close it up like I told you before. Now what you want to do, you want to make sure you get foil. Lay the foil in there long enough for your foil to meet in the middle. Now, I've already turned my oven on to 350. And then we're going to be done for a couple hours. We're just going to let it sit in the oven and cook. Okay, so there we go. Now, and remember, share, like, and subscribe. All right, we've got that all nice and tight. Now we're gonna stick it in the oven and we're going to be able to go do a few things and come back and finish dinner in a little while. Wasn't that easy? All right, here we go. In the oven, go. two hours from now, we will come back and we will take care of the rest of the dinner. Thanks for watching right now. We'll be back with you in just a few minutes. Well, hour and a half, okay? Hey everybody, welcome back real quick. The ham is almost done and we are going to do some uh, green beans and we're going to steam them. So I wanted to show you kind of how we did uh, the uh, red potatoes. And I'm gonna show you how we do this. So you've got your you've got your water with salt inside here. You've got your double boiler. <laughs> and I may not have said that so clear one night, but anyway, it is a double boiler. And so I'm gonna put the green beans in there. You can use real fresh ones right out of the out of the market you can go and get fresh ones or you can use the uh, frozen ones either one okay now what i'm gonna do is slice some butter and stick it on top yum and then we're gonna put some garlic and roasted herbs over here it's gonna be so yummy okay then we're gonna add a little salt green beans need a little salt Okay, so we're gonna use sea salt and we're going to use roasted, roasted garlic herbs. And we're gonna add that to our uh, vegetables, green beans. We're gonna let this simmer and it's going to boil and it's going to steam them. And in about 15 minutes, we're gonna have some fabulous green beans to go with our ham. All right, folks, we'll be back with you in just a few minutes. Well, hi, welcome back. We are here at Bev's Tennessee Kitchen and the ham just got pulled out of the oven. The green beans are done and I'll show you those in a minute. And we are going to make, I'm gonna show you how to make the ham gravy. Everybody's like, ah, no, no, no. Yes, okay, here we go. It's so easy. What you do, you get some of the juice out of your ham um, and then you put it in your pan simple okay then what you want to do you want to get a little shaker and you want to put so much milk in see not a lot just about a cup or so because you may may not use it all you may use it all depending on how much you're making then you want to use 
two tablespoons of cornstarch. And the reason I use cornstarch is because cornstarch doesn't, um, the if you use flour, sometimes it makes it kind of floury. And uh, you can use cornstarch for um, several reasons, for health reasons, gluten-free, and all that good stuff. So here you go, you've got your milk, you've got two tablespoons of cornstarch, and a little pepper. All right, you lock that in, shake it up, and while you're shaking, Let's turn this up to get it warm, and we can shake. Shake, shake, shake. Here you get your aerobics in while you're getting ready for dinner. <laughs> See, I can shake this way and shake that way. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> you can shake any which way you want. Now, so here we go. We're gonna wait till this boils, and then we're going to add a little bit to our liquid. You know how we added pineapple earlier? You can take your pineapple and take it out, which I'll probably take some of this out. Like some of it left in the gravy, but not a lot, because it does already have the sweetness in there. Okay, so you can set that off to the side and not worry about it. As we're looking here, we're, I'll should go ahead and show you the green beans, okay? And that will be boiling in just a minute. Okay, always open the lid away from you so it doesn't. See that? Does that not look yummy? See? Yum. Perfect. They're not too uh, soft and not, not too hard. Perfect. All right, so we'll cover them, and this lovely little pan will keep them warm until we're ready to eat. And then the ham, remember when you're doing the ham, well, while that's getting warm, I'm going to turn it up a little bit so I hurry up. And while you're doing the ham, what you're going to do, you're going to open it up and let the steam come out so you don't burn yourself. And there's your ham. Does that not look good? Let's see here. But you've got your ham ready to go. And I've taken this juice from here. So you still have a lot of juice left. And that will... You just want to put that over your ham. See that it's steamy and hot. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Mm. Here we go. We're gonna cover this up real quick until it's done, until we're ready to go back in it. Okay? And the gravy will be ready in just a minute. I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so see our juice is getting steamy, so it's getting warm. And here we go. Gonna put that in there just a little bit. Whoop! Making another mess. Well, tonight is just full of messes, isn't it? We're gonna set that aside for a second while I clean my mess up. And you can use uh, water if you choose to use water with ham gravy, but I kind of like to use the milk a little more so than the water. Just makes it a little tastier, a little creamier, I guess. When it starts boiling, it's gonna get thick. And then, when it's thick, you're done. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit more. almost there. See, by shaking, all we did the shaking, it made this not be lumpy, so it makes your gravy smooth too. So, shake, shake, shake. And you'll have smooth gravy. <laughs> You're like, oh, that woman must be crazy. Well, yeah, that's probably what you might be thinking. I might be thinking it too. All right, see it's getting thicker. So have a little bit more room. Here we go. And I have to turn the heat up just a smidgen just to get the foil. Set that off to the side, we're just about got it. All right. All 
half head. We're going to taste this just a little bit to see where we're at. Mmm, tastes good, but it needs to be a little thicker, so we're going to let it go a little bit longer. There you go. All right. There you go. Smooth. There you go. See, it's just not too thick, not too thin. There you go. Okay, so once that's boiling, see how it's boiling now? All right, so your gravy is done. So you turn that down, or if you wanna turn it to low to keep it, and then you take your ham. So you've got your ham, you can ready to slice. You got your gravy ready to use, and you've got your green beans. All right, folks, there you go. Another wonderful dinner out of Bev's Tennessee Kitchen. Thanks for joining.